Hey beer lovers and welcome to an episode I've wanted to do for a little while. It's another of our totally wacky, totally scientific tests. Uh, and this one is discovering whether light and temperature can affect your beer and just how quickly. Very exciting. So this, this is obviously, you're a big proponent of cans over glass uh, bottles. Definitely for, for, storage. for pale, hoppy, yeah, uh, yeah, hoppy yeah. beers and lagers, 100%. And like a lot of people, they don't think about the light affecting necessarily the flavour of the beer, I, I would say. I don't think people treat beer like it's a live product at all. Well, that's it, isn't it? Like, it's a live. it should be treated like fresh bread. Yeah. Like, that's how a fresh loaf goes off in a week, a beer probably goes off in six, really. And you wouldn't you wouldn't stick, like, your loaf in a window, for you instance, wouldn't for, like, a day your loaf in a You'd have or toast. whatever. Exactly. And, and the theory, yeah. we think, is roughly similar. So we're always told that, and we've read lots of articles. We'll put little bits of reading in the description box below as to why this happens. But the science of it is, beer has three enemies. Light, oxygen, and warm temperatures. Yes. All three break down certain chemical compounds in the beer, uh, or encourage oxidisation. Yeah. So we've come up with a, a very small home experiment to see how quickly that happens. Because I've been told by some people that light striking, which is the process of UV light breaking down hot flavour compounds, can mm. happen in three seconds. So as soon as you take your pint outside. It's or game on over. So what you're suggesting is like, don't ever go out in a beer garden. <laughs> beer. Well, I, I have seen beer nerds like with bits of paper over their beer to try and protect it. Wow. Um, so they're like, like beer is a vampire, essentially. It's oh, I see. It's by, by light. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's like... Wow. So um, beer is, go is, is basically the goth yeah. of the drink world. And it also likes the cold. I presume Dracula liked the cold yeah, too. So. Um, so lower temperatures will stop oxidisation, slow down the ageing process of the beer. Yeah, so what we've got, we've got four punk IPAs in front of us. Yeah. Relatively fresh punk market IPAs. Market leader. From the same, yeah, market leader. Yeah. From the same batch. The reason I chose it is because it's a very consistently made, fairly hoppy beer. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good stuff. I yeah. mean, you know, it's all and good, it's, isn't it? And it's, we know what punk should taste like. We, we, we've had a few yeah. in our time, yeah. So what we've then done is taken these four beers from the same batch, same freshness, and we've kept one outside in the cold but in direct sunlight mm -hmm. we've put one in the window so in the warm but mm. in direct sunlight mm. we've put one in a cold dark place which is where so many breweries say put their beer yes and then we've put one in the fridge which you would think which is where you should keep that's your beer, where you should keep your beer regardless right? of yeah. the end of this experiment yeah, yeah keep the beer in the fridge okay so we've then mixed it up so brad poured them out and he knew which was going into which glass and then i mixed up the glasses it's like a so, double blind double test. Double blind, yeah. So neither of us know which one is which now. Uh, and eventually we'll be able to reveal it with the bottle caps that are here. So the Ooh. bottle caps have the answer on the bottom. We're going to taste them and see if we can... A, pick our favourite and B, see if we can tell which one's which. Right. Let's get punked. So do you want to start at that end and I'll start at this end and then we'll start comparing notes? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. That tastes like a really nice punk, that one. I mean, this is, it's got the hoppy bit in this, but it feels like there's something missing to me. I'm not quite sure what. That's skunky to me. Yeah, it's it's on the nose, it's definitely pretty. Pretty muted and yeah. um, cardboardy and, well, no, not cardboardy. It, to me, it's the light strike, it's that so, rubbish weed smell. This has been with, like early doors here. I haven't tried this one. Yeah. Pretty good, there's nothing wrong with that. That I can. That to me seems a bit oxidized. It's not as good as that one. It's a bit thinner, there's definitely for me it yeah, it's, it doesn't taste as fresh. But it's it's a much better aroma than that one. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's just not as fresh. That is vibrant, citrusy. Are we thinking if it's darker, it hasn't seen daylight? Is that no, it's darker happening? if it has, I think. If it has, because it's oxidation being tanned. turns beer darker. So it's almost like tanned in the sun. Yeah, kind of. And that, that, uh, that's a part of oxidation. It's the worst one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -uh. uh -uh. that's, that's cardboard. 
It's lifeless, it's sticky. What are you thinking? Or do you want well, me to go the, first? You can go first. Which one's which? I mean, the, the best flavour one yeah. was certainly the one that you had. It's this one. Is that guy. So I'm hoping that's been refrigerated from the start. Okay, so tell me if you disagree with any. I yeah. think that has been in the fridge. Yeah. That's been in a cool, dark place. Yeah, it had a bit more flavour, didn't it? That has been in the window. So yeah, that's warm, warm and light struck. Double whammy. And that's been outside. So yeah. temperature wise, it's been okay. It hasn't been a particularly hot day. So it hasn't been. No, I think week. it's eight to 10 degrees out there yeah. and it's 20 degrees in here. So that's yeah, at a yeah. lower temperature. These two, I could flip flop between. But yeah, this one definitely tastes worse. Actually, now I'm saying it, it tastes worse. So yeah. Yeah. Window. That's the worst. Okay, yeah. should, we, should we do oh, this? Oh, I don't know. It's the window! It is the window. It is the window, right there's, there. There's been no cheating here. So there's a W. This is, it's actually, well, for early doors, this has worked so yeah. thus far. That's great to know. That's one out great of four. To know. Okay, so should we go for the one we thought was the best now? Yeah, let's do it. So this should have down. an F on it. Oh. oh! So it has a D on it. Dark place. So that is, yeah, that's our cupboard. That's interesting, okay. Well, look, my house isn't particularly warm. <laughs> so um, you are in a jacket I'm and in a, a jacket t-shirt I mean you know central heating is expensive Johnny so I don't have it that hot in here so effectively it's been in a, in a very cool you, you should place. join our Patreon on that now. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we've so, done alright so this must be the fridge oh, even though we shit. thought it was the dark it better be right it's the fridge hey, it's okay. the fridge okay so what? that means that this one, yeah, so that was outside. That's outside. Okay, so we pretty much nailed it, apart yep. from fridge and dark place. So, I mean, when, when you buy it in a store, it's not usually in a fridge, is it? Unless it, we're in like a proper bottle shop. Yeah, I mean, these um, were in the fridge in the bottle shop where we bought them. But what you don't know yeah. is where they were before they went into yeah, the fridge. The so it could be that this one, the fridge one, that went, that was in the back for a little bit longer yeah. than this one, which went straight out. So... That's where the test falls down. A better test would have been to go to punk, go to go to Brewdog and say, "Can we have four straight off the line?" Yes. Take them home cold chain. So we did get it slightly wrong, but what was immediately obvious was how much better these two were than yeah. these two. Both of us picked it without influencing the other. They were both just rubbish. Yeah. IPAs and this one in particular. Double that, whammy. Daylight and heat. It just reminded me of dusty old American IPAs in the UK. That one was just meh. If you got yeah. served that in a brew dog bar, you'd be like, ugh. I think you'd be disappointed if you got it served, because you would hope that their whole sort of chain would be, you know, guarding against yeah. this kind of thing. Yeah. So. But, I mean, clearly it benefited from being cold, mm -hmm. but, I mean, that was the strongest light as well of all yeah. four of them. True. There was a definite, that was skunky, that was cardboardy. So here oxidation had happened, here skunking had happened, and you could mm. literally taste the difference. After six hours. Yeah. So with fridge and dark beer, it's harder to tell. Like a cool dark place is okay to keep your beer there, but obviously temperature fluctuations. Yeah. It was, today it, w it was 18, 20 degrees in this house. Yeah, it didn't yeah. fluctuate. Whereas if you had that for three months and it turned from winter to summer, your beer yeah. would be ruined. Exactly, exactly. What, what I've got from this is light is the absolute murderer of, yeah. of that of, of a hoppy beer and also you know light isn't a factor when you're in, in a can no exactly so, so it's a yeah. great great bonus for the can guys thank you so much for watching please do if you want to do this experiment at home do it and let us know the results um i'm really relieved that we could tell the difference between the two very different sets um and slightly miffed that the temperature didn't really matter but maybe brad house is that cold it's pretty cold. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to be doing more experiments around these kind of things to learn more about how you can look after beer at home uh, and how you can ask the barman to look after their beer properly when you when you go to purchase. Um, but before then, uh, do check out our Patreon and join us so we can do more of this stuff and be a bit more scientific. Uh, and do absolutely tune in next week for some ice cold, dark stored beer goodness. Mm -hmm.